In Gata, Freedom Party founding president Mangosutu Butelezi has died at the age of 95. He was recently discharged from hospital where he had spent more than a month receiving treatment for what was said to be a prolonged back pain. In a statement, his family says Butelezi, who served as Democratic South Africa's first to home affairs minister, passed away in the early hours of this morning. The presidency has offered condolences describing Butelezi as a true champion of the country. Right, we do continue to get uh, tributes uh, for the Amazulu traditional prime minister with uh, DA leader John Stienhuizen as well as the UDM leader Bantu Holomisa. Perhaps let me start with the, you, Mr. Holomisa. Very good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Having known and interacted with uh, Prince Mangusu Tubutelezi for many, many years throughout his uh, political journey, upon waking up to the sad news, what was your first reaction? Well, uh, I was not uh, shocked uh, given that uh, Nkosi Butelezi has not been well for some time. Mm -hmm. And truth be told, that at least the family and himself is out of these pains which he has been suffering from for quite some time. Having said that, I wish to, on behalf of the UGM and myself, uh, to pass my condolences to the family as well as to his political party, the IFP. One thing is certain that Kosi uh, Butelezi has played his innings very well. He had ups and downs in, in them like any other leader. And uh, we wish that uh, the whole nation will give him the respect we will remember the time on the eve of elections when the whole country was uh, uh, worried whether there will be peace. Fortunately, the Fort Hare boys, that is Gosi Mutelis and Gosi Mandela and Nelson Mandela, they, 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 they pull it through. And uh, it's up to us who are remaining behind to make sure that that peace is sustained in this country. We, we know that President Cyril Ramaphosa has described him as an outstanding leader in the political and cultural life of our nation. As you look to his leadership and uh, describe perhaps uh, the kind of leadership he embodied within the nation, within his party, the IFP, and uh, the Amazulu nation as well, what, what stands out for you? Well, Gosu uh, Tilezi was a disciplinarian in the best sense and also a disciplined person and meticulous in a number of things. I always watched him in Parliament. He, he replied to the, to the people who write to him directly and he replies, he would reply to them uh, personally. And all the time, if he's not debating, he's, he's answering those letters. And uh, also that uh, he was not uh, afraid to speak truth to the power, power to the truth. Yeah. So he, because of the uh, would be remembered also during the debates that uh, he was uh, being seen as a reconciliator and also give directions. And uh, he earned respect even from the ruling party as a result of that. What are your fondest memories of your interactions with him um, as, as you commemorate and pay tribute to, to a man of his stature? I mean, what stands out for you? On a number of occasions, uh, I, when I visited uh, the king, uh, late King Zolitin, Gosu Butelis would always be around, and when there are functions at the palace, we would always be around together with the king and, uh, and the former president, President Zuma. All the time, we, both of them, Gosu Butelis and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the king, uh, would always crack jokes with us, 
and narrate stories. The other story which he used to narrate to the people when I'm around, he would say, uh, General Lumisa visited uh, Lundi, uh, accompanying the king of the Cossars, who was proposing a marriage uh, to uh, one of the daughters of the king. Mm. So during the dinner, Gosibu uh, Telezi said, uh, please, Mr. Olomisa, General, uh, look after the people of Tanskai. Don't call the government. They are of, of Stau, Stau and Matanzimas. Three weeks later, little did I know that three weeks later, I would be part of a team which removed the power, the government of Tanskai from power. Thank you so much, uh, General uh, Bantu Holomisa, there for, for sharing your experiences uh, as we um, continue to pay tribute to the uh, Amazulu traditional Prime Minister, um, uh, uh, Mangusutu Butelezi. Of course, uh, uh, wrapping it up there with UDM leader Bantu Holomisa, taking you now to some reaction with uh, the DA's leader, John Stienhaes. And a very good morning to you. Uh, what was your reaction upon learning of the news of the passing of Prince Mangusutu Butelezi? Well, I think it was um, a deep sadness at the loss of a elder statesman and somebody who has been part of our political life um, for decades here in South Africa, um, but also with a sense of relief for his suffering and of his uh, pain that he has been going through recently. Um, he had lost his wife in the last few years and she had played a big role in his life. And we know that he'd been hospitalized, which must be incredibly frustrating for somebody who has lived an incredibly active and full life uh, for such a long period of time. Um, so really, I think it's a sad day for not only the IFP, but for the whole of South Africa, uh, as we lo lose one of our founding fathers and somebody who's been a part of all of our lives for as long as we can remember. An elderly statesman who's lived an active and full life, what do you think he leaves behind in terms of a legacy within the political space? Well, I mean, this is somebody who has strode the political stage um, since long before democracy even dawned in South Africa. Uh, his strength in standing up, uh, refusing to bow to the apartheid government, uh, his decision to lead the IFP into the election, in 1994, uh, the decision to join the Government of National Unity, where he served as Home Affairs Minister, uh, and also the time that he was acting president on a number of occasions. Uh, then, of course, the way he stewarded the Zulu nation through some difficult times, most recently the succession um, and the uh, coronation of King Missy Zulu uh, in KwaZulu-Natal, uh, and I mean, these have been very, very big events in not only our history, but also the history of, of his nation. And I think that he will be remembered as a steadfast leader, somebody who stuck to principle and wouldn't bow to uh, populism, uh, and somebody who uh, was a deep intellectual, a deep thinker, a deep reader, and an excellent debater uh, in Parliament. And as a sitting MP currently, uh, he is also going to be greatly missed in the house as well. Mm. As you pay tribute to, to Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, what stands out for you in terms of uh, you know, your interactions with him or, or encountering him at, at any stage during um, his, his career? Well, remember, I grew up in KwaZulu-Natal, and KwaZulu-Natal is my home. So Prince Butelezi has been a part of my life since I could uh, walk and talk in KwaZulu-Natal. And it, it was always the politeness and, and, the, and the humility that he showed, although he was a stickler for protocol. Um, the humility that he showed whenever we interacted, uh, he used to call me homeboy because we come from KwaZulu-Natal together. Um, and it was always a, a wonderful engagement being able to sit with him and listen to his stories because he had an incredible memory. Uh, he could remember things right back to the the 60s in such granular detail and he would literally keep you spellbound as he recounted those meetings, those interactions, those uh, reflections of, of the history of those times and you know, even up till the, the last interactions I had with him uh, a few months ago, 
the, the grasp of history and that granular detail still stuck with him. Uh, a prolific writer of letters and uh, somebody who really enjoyed using the, the, the English language uh, to great effect. Um, and I will always remember that intellectualism, but also his friendliness and openness. And he's certainly one of my favorite politicians. And I think he leaves a, a lot of examples for all of us about how finding a way through difficult times, putting oil on troubled waters, and bringing people together is far better than dividing them. Very well. Thank you so much, uh, Don, uh, John Stienhuis and the leader. They're paying tribute to Prince Mangosutu Butelezi.